Hi everyone, today I am doing a vlog. I feel like I haven't done a vlog in ages so I felt like we'd do one. Sorry about the background noise, they're building some houses over there and it's really noisy. Look at Jasper. Hello Jasper. So I'm just coming out to, oh, are you going in? No. I'm just coming out to feed the guinea pigs and the bunnies and also clean them out because that's what I do on the morning now. I just find it's better getting out of the way first and then I don't have to come out later and do it. <laughs> He's following me. I changed around the guinea pigs run and my parents made this nice garden area for the guinea pigs. So yeah I'm loving how it's looking at the minute. Maybe I will do a tour of this area so you can see it better. Let me know if you would like that. So we'll just go over to the guinea pigs now and go and feed them. Hello! We recently treated them for mites and because I saw multi- <laughs> look at Jasper he always goes crazy over this plant it's quite hilarious to watch what you doing? <laughs> he's so funny <laughs> so yeah um, I saw multi was scratching a lot and then I got quite suspicious so we just treated them for mites anyway <laughs> they're all so cute have we got everyone here? Yep, we do. So I'm just going to pop their food in. And that was actually for the bunnies, a bit of cabbage. There you are. We've got apple, lettuce, celery and green beans. Now, I've had problems with Mabel quite a lot. And I'm just putting it down to the food we're giving her. Maybe something doesn't agree with her. So we're taking cabbage out of their diet because I feel like I was feeding a bit too much of that and that could have possibly caused the bloat so I'm trying to reduce those things Oh there he is! Jasper! He's on top of the playhouse He's such a funny cat and it's so hard to open his door with one hand There we go, managed it <laughs> and This is the point where Piper comes Oh what are they doing? Piper comes running, their litter tray is absolutely <laughs> full of poop, I really need to clean them out. I only did it yesterday as well, but they just poo so much, at least they use the litter trays. There you are. And she thinks that Big Wig will take her food, so she just runs away, and she can never really find a place to go. Jasper's gone a bit crazy, the wind just makes him go absolutely mental. He just gets really hyper when it's windy. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh. Okay guys, if any of you are considering getting bunnies, just bear in mind that's one litter tray in exactly one day. That's how much poop there is. So yeah, from two little bunnies, they do produce a lot of poop. Oh bless him. Cutie. Have you calmed down a bit now? He's <laughs> <laughs> just gone crazy again. Squeaky monkeys. Oh. Are you hungry again? Really? Oh. 
What is he doing? He's just pouncing on everything. Yeah. Let's clear off the bowl. Oh, Ruby. She's got in already. <laughs> I give them about that much every morning and evening. I'm starting to feed pea flakes again. So when they're getting more forage and stuff, I should be able to just feed them off pea flakes and they may not need the pellets because they'll be getting all the vitamins and nutrients that they need from all the forage and vegetables and everything. But the pea flakes do help to keep their weight up, which is good. Okay, so Jasper just decided to invite himself in. <laughs> You shouldn't be in here, should you? He acts like a little mum to them all. It's well cute. He just kind of protects them. <laughs> Obviously, I never leave him in here when I'm not around because you can never trust them too much. But obviously, I know he's good with them. Look at them too. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Bramley's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> He's actually scared is Jasper. He's scared of the guinea pigs. So seeing as I didn't really show you this well enough before I thought I would just tell you a bit more about it. So obviously you have the bridge still behind there, then these rocks come all the way around you like a semicircle. Then there are loads of plants on this border to stop them from getting to the plants. Obviously they can still climb over the bridge, I'm not sure what I'll do about that. Maybe we'll block it off somehow. Oh, Jasper's meeting a guinea pig. Oh, Jasper, you made a friend. Bless him. Oh. Yeah, Jasper's nicely demonstrating this area right now. <laughs> yeah, they've got all of that here. Another um, rock hard hideaway thing. <laughs> Jasper! So then we have loads of logs around here and we actually got this delivered by the person who we get our wood from for our stove but I mean it looks amazing. The only problem is it doesn't go all the way down. It's like it basically comes out this side. I think a woodpecker created this which is kind of cool but it's not quite wide enough for the guinea pigs to use. <laughs> Just was thinking about it. Um, yeah, it doesn't go all the way down and this hole is probably not big enough for the guinea pigs to get out of. What are you doing? So we're either going to plant things in it or make try and make the hole bigger so they can get out. So I'm not sure what, but we've got loads of nice plants here right now. And I haven't been able to let the rabbits out because I took their tunnel out, which is in an area where there was no mesh. And so they started to dig. don't know if you can see. So I need to put something there to stop them from digging before I can actually let them out again. I've temporarily just put these slate pieces here to stop them from digging because this bit on top here is actually not meshed because we used to have a lot of logs on here so we didn't think it was necessary but obviously now taking them off it needs something so I can let the rabbits out now, they're probably dying to come out <laughs> they're going straight over to explore it oh what's over there? They're really curious, as soon as you put something new in, they'll want to find out what it is. And Jasper's probably going to scare them. Oh yeah. See, Jasper's, Jasper's friendly. You don't need to run away. He's just curious. He wants to find out what they are. You're just a bit shy, aren't you? Big wig's still there. <laughs> and he's just seen Jasper, let's see how they react. He's getting so much better actually. He used to just run up and bark, but he's getting so much better. And yeah, you've been really good with Jasper now. All of a sudden something's just changed. And he's a lot more calm. Um, obviously we've still not got them in the same room together yet, but you know, it's a slow progression. 
Come on then, Vinny. He's like, no, I want to stay here with Jasper. Come on. Vinny. We've got these cute pig-shaped biscuits that my mum made. There you go. Now you stay there and I'll let Jasper in. He really likes them. Is that nice? And he's looking for him. Do you want to see Vinny? Vinny? No backing. Good boy. I got this new mirror from Ikea the other day. It's this black colour and I think it's really good because the lighting's obviously better on this side of my room because of the window. Whereas before I was having to do my makeup like over there, which wasn't very good because the lighting's not brilliant. So this is really good and I'm thinking of putting some fairy lights around it. We saw it in Ikea with some fairy lights around it, so I'm thinking of putting some of those on it and yeah but I'd just show you that also the other day I gave Pingu's tank a clean out I'm sure you probably saw from the video but I thought I would just show you like an overview so obviously he's got his new DIY shelf thing and I think it looks so good in here I changed the substrate to Megazorb he's got some cork things hanging toy his wheel obviously <laughs> Some like wooden stepping stones and his sand bath over there. I believe he's sleeping in his little coconut. I don't know, maybe we'll get some footage of him later if he ever wakes up. But obviously, they're nocturnal, so I won't wake him up. All the gerbils are up now, so there's hazelnut oh. and peanuts here as well and chestnut. They're all doing really well as well. I don't think I've changed the setup since last time you'll have seen. It always looks like this pretty much because it works really well for them. But yeah, they all seem to be fine. They seem to be getting on a lot better now for some reason, which is good. but the guinea pigs are wanting to come outside so I'm just going to collect some hidey houses and things so they can come out and then they've got more places to feel sheltered so I'd hate using these on a sunny day but on a windy day like today these are really good because they provide a lot of shelter and they're pretty much draft proof so on windy cold days these are good but on hot days these are just really not a good idea and they're great on the grass as well you can see them all wanting to come outside they know when they're coming because they can just see me setting everything up and they get excited they're all squeaking now bless them Aww. That should probably be enough actually. Now that there's more hidey houses already set up, they don't really need so much, just a few things so they can feel more comfortable and safe. 
So what I'll do is I'll go and open this door. Come on then. Ruby's first out. Hello. Oh, I bet you she goes straight to the grass. You can see Piper as well watching. Miffy. Panda. Gremly. Little Hazel. Roxy. <laughs> this is so cute. Mabel. I'm surprised Multi's not here. She's normally first out. Mabel. Hello, sweetie. Multi. Is that everyone? No, I think there's still Oreo to come. Oreo is always last. I don't know if she's got maybe a problem with the hearing or a sight or something, but she's always last to come out. Oh, she heard me then. Come on, sweetie. You're going to run around for a bit. So good to get them to just come out and exercise. Yay. <laughs> Where are they all? Straight on the grass. They don't care about any of this. They just want the grass. Bless them. They're liking that though. And Piper wants to join in as well. Hey. How are you? Where's Big Wig? Is he not there? They absolutely love coming out on the grass and they're now used to eating the grass so I can leave them out for a bit longer which is really good. It's just nice to get them out grazing. I really miss that overwinter. That's the one thing that I just really miss because they can't get out and graze and everything. So yeah. Oh. Are any of them in the huts? I think. Is that Ruby? Yep. <laughs> Something that I've really learned lately is that guinea pigs. 24-7 they don't need a lot of space I have to say they spend a lot of the day sleeping and not being very active but it's very important they have some time in the day where they come out and sorry about the background noise this is really annoying so as I was saying I feel like guinea pigs 24-7 don't need so much space they obviously need a lot of room to be able to do everything they need to do and stretch their legs a bit but really I mean my guinea pigs used to live in all of this they would spend very little time outside now I felt like that was a waste because we had this massive massive permanent enclosure which was taking up all this room and now the rabbits are using it so much more the guinea pigs hardly ever came out unless it was really sunny so I feel like guinea pigs yes I mean my guinea pigs I do have nine guinea pigs so you've got to bear in mind that and I feel like this is a perfect size for them you know, it's not anything massive, and for the amount of guinea pigs you have, I feel like it's a very sensible size. But they do need some, some time of the day where they can come out and stretch their legs. I feel like that's really important, because they do need to exercise, but they don't always need the space, because they just need one time of the day where they can come out, run around, explore, and have that sort of enrichment time during their day. So that's something I've definitely learned doing this, and I feel this is so much more effective than their previous setup, which they didn't come out in much at all. This just works so much better for them and they are really making use of the space. I thought I would just clear that up because a lot of people are wondering why we swapped them over and then built this really big enclosure sort of thing. And especially as this area, it's not so much an eyesore. I feel like it's quite a nice feature of the garden and it really makes good use of this space, which was otherwise just grass. Oh, Bremley is so cute. It's so nice just to watch them graze and even on a cold day like this they're choosing to be outside which is lovely. Obviously I don't shut them out here, they have the choice to go back inside if they want to but if they don't want to they'd much rather eat the grass. And like father like daughter. Obviously Bramley's not the father but you know. <laughs> I always think they look so similar though. I mean you look at Roxy who looks absolutely nothing like Hazel and she is Hazel's mum. Then you look at Bramley, who looks somewhat similar to Hazel, but completely unrelated. So I find that quite funny how 
they look nothing like each other. Hazel's sister, I think it was, she had a sister. We don't have the sister because she got rehomed. Um, it would be nice to have the other sister as well, but um, they didn't get along. Well, Hazel was just a bit um, nasty to this other little girl. But the other one looked quite a lot like Roxy. I think it was all black with a crest. So very much similar to Roxy, whereas Hazel, I don't know where... I mean, I don't know what the dad looked like, but maybe they were a lot more similar. So I'm going to close this all off now, because I think they've been out probably for long enough now. Now this is quite difficult to do, because when you've got nine guinea pigs all on the grass, it is quite difficult to get them all to go back inside. So I just kind of keep pushing it like that and then hopefully they sort of get the idea to go back inside and yeah most of them just go down to that end <laughs> The harder bit is when you actually get them into this area and you've got to get them back into the playhouse. That takes a while. Come on. I gave Miffy a haircut last night. She wasn't very happy about it. And I gave her a tomato to eat whilst I was cutting her hair and she ended up getting it all over me. She shook her face and she had a bit of tomato on it and I basically got tomato everywhere. All over me. But I do love them. <laughs> So when it gets to about here, I just simply fold it over like so and there you go. And now it's back to how it was before, it's very simple and easy to use and obviously doesn't take much time at all. And then I just put these back in the shed and try and get the guinea pigs to go back in as well, which is easier said than done. Maltese decided to go up here. Are you eating the sage? <laughs> she did the exact same thing yesterday and I tried to get her out and she just carried on running around in here. But I don't mind them having a bit as long as they don't demolish it because obviously I want it to stay looking nice. And yeah, I basically tried to get her out and she went all the way over there, which isn't very good really. Come on then, sweetie. Yeah, she'll probably do the exact same. It's like a jungle in there. There's no way I'll be able to get her out. <laughs> Come on, Multi. Oh, don't be getting in any ideas. <laughs> they just like to copy each other. What are they doing? Oreo and pandas in there. Yeah, I completely forgot there was a guinea pig eating up all of this. She's just frozen. <laughs> That's it. Good girl. I really should bother this area off. I just don't know how to do it. She's thinking about it, coming back up. I'll try and hide them in now. They tend to run away from me, so you know, kind of works. Come on then. No, you're not scared of me at all, are you? So you won't run away. I mean, obviously it's a good thing, but at times like this. <laughs> Maybe just wants to do her own thing. I like that to eat in the rabbit's enclosure, but I mean, she's in here because the rabbits can't fit in there. Too big. Come on, then. Come on. <laughs> you should go in there. Come on. That's it. Nearly got all of them now. Come on, he's a bit reluctant. Come on, Bangley. There you go. He wants to stay outside for a change. He's normally always inside. And we need to get ready. Wow. Whoa. What are you doing? Careful. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't really work. And then I have to go and count them all, obviously, because I get worried that some of them have been shut out. Sometimes happens, but I obviously count them all before I ever go back inside. We've got Bremley, Ruby, Oreo, where's Panda? Oh, yeah. Panda, Miffy, Roxy, Hazel. Multi Mabel, they're all in. So I can shut this up 